what's up? John Sonmez from simpleprogrammer.com. I have a question today about GitHub. Yes, GitHub. <laughs> I haven't talked too much about GitHub because my GitHub profile is anemic. There's not much on there. I put a little bit of stuff on there because, you know, I didn't really I didn't really create a lot of open source software. I'll, I'll be honest with you. I did. I did. I did not do that. Not too much. I created a lot of software. Some of you are like, oh, well, he doesn't have a GitHub profile. So uh, so you must know what he's talking about. Yeah, I did. I did write a lot of commercial software back in the day. So uh, so anyway, but but GitHub is great. I'll talk about that in a minute. But first, you know what time it is. It's time for me to talk about Hired.com, which is the sponsor for Simple Programmer, which I appreciate them. I, you know, they're, they're a company that I feel comfortable doing business with and promoting because they're doing good stuff and they're good people. So uh, that's, that's, a, that's a great reason to check them out just based on that. You should just check, you know, when a company is a good company and they're doing good things, go, go check them out. So go to Hired.com for slash Simple Programmer. You know, keep them in mind if you're looking for a job. They have a, a really good system, I think, that's in place of, of you filling out an application there. They vet you out there. You know, don't be offended if they, if they vet you out. You know, sometimes it could be just because they're not in that geographic location, right? They're expanding out. So, you know, that, that's something to consider. But go check it out. Go fill out an application. You might as well if you're looking for a job. And uh, and go to make sure you go to hire.com for a simple programmer so that you get uh, $2,000 when they hire you. <laughs> when you get a job through them, they'll basically give you $2,000. Normally, it's $1,000 if you use that link. You get $2,000. It's a really good deal. Go check it out if you haven't already. Or if you know someone who's looking for a job, tell them and tell them to get the extra $1,000, right? So anyway, appreciate them. Appreciate all of you. And now let's get to the question. So this is a question about GitHub content. It says, hi John, I'm a self-taught .NET programmer planning on starting a job search for entry-level positions within the month. Right now my highest priority is getting content on my GitHub account. I currently have one web app I created as well as a few console applications and I plan on creating a website in the next week or so. Maybe I should have done that sooner, but my profile still looks pretty lean. One option I have considered is that I have literally hundreds of small applications I made from coding along with tutorials and when I was learning C Sharp. They're mostly console applications with less than 100 lines of code that demonstrate simple procedures such as arrays, interfaces, parameters, delegates, etc. But they demonstrate that I learned the nooks and crannies of the language. Should I include these programs in my GitHub account uh, with an explanation that they were written uh, while following a video tutorial or would that look unprofessional? Thank you. So I've got an idea for you, actually. So I want to talk about in general, first of all, you know, putting stuff in your GitHub account. Do it. Just put it out there, right? It's not going to hurt you it's, it, unless it's horrible code, right? If it's good code, put it out there. But but let, let's see if we can do something smarter than just putting it out there. I don't think it's going to hurt you, right? I mean, it, it shows that you have gone through these ex examples and, and you understand this stuff. So that's that's good. But what if, what if, right? What if instead of just putting a bunch of code out there, you organize that code and you actually wrote up a couple of blog posts, right? Talking about and maybe organized like a, a tutorial series where you sh where you use the code that you created, right? You've already got that content. Anytime you can repurpose something you've already done, this is a good thing. So what if you took that and you create this website or on your blog and you've got tutorials on various topics and you, you show the code and you put that code in GitHub and then that GitHub repository is essentially a repository of tutorials that you've created, right? That show how to do these things like use delegates, use arrays, all of that stuff that you learned in C Sharp. Now, now what happens is, is two things here, right? One, th what might have looked a little bit unprofessional is like someone playing around and, and putting stuff in GitHub now looks really professional because you're actually helping other people, right? It, it's, it's actually a tutorial is actually something that you're putting out. So we've changed the frame, we've changed the context of this and made this something to be proud of that you're showing other people that it's, it's a helpful thing. It, and now it positions, positions you as an authority, as a resource, someone who's creating stuff for other people, not just some homework that you've done, that, that right? And we're allowed to do that. We're allowed to reframe things, right? Okay, the second thing it does is it, it generates you some content out there that can attract 
developers, right? Or can it attract people that are searching the web, maybe recruiters, maybe companies that are looking to hire developers, you know, because now you've created a resource out there that's valuable to other people, right? To see that code, to, to a little bit of, you know, text that you put along with that to, to, as you make this into a tutorial. And so you're marketing yourself as well. Remember, you know, I always tell you guys about how to market yourself as a software developer. Boom, I've got that course. I don't think I've talked about it <laughs> in a while. I haven't advertised, I haven't advertised my stuff. Man, I used to be really good at advertising my stuff all the time. Now, I think most of you know about it, right? And so, anyway, check that out if you haven't. But you'll be basically doing that, and that's always a good idea. So, anyway, I hope that helps you. If you've got a question for me, you can always email me at john at simpleprogrammer.com. And uh, don't forget to check out hire.com. And don't forget, don't forget, let me tell you, to subscribe. <laughs> Did you know I was going to say that? If you've already subscribed, you know, I appreciate you. I got to say this because I'm trying to reach my goal and I got to tell people to subscribe. But, you know, a thumbs up is always appreciated. Or if you want to share it, get some other people to subscribe. That's always cool. I will talk to you next time. Take care.